Just Alex asks, change value of a cell based on the date in another cell. I'm trying to set up an Excel sheet for work. In column E, there's a date for each row. If that cell's date is less than or equal to one year from today's date, I needed to change the value of column C to one. If it's greater than one year away, column C needs to be two. So what we have here is a column with dates and then depending on if this date is less than or more than one year away from today's date, we want a one or a two to appear here in column A. Do you want your Excel question answered within 24 hours? Join the Beyond Excel community. Link is in the description below. Now, the first Excel function we need to know is the today function. So the today function is a function that does not take in any arguments. You just write it like this and the result is today's date. Now we can use this information to calculate the distance between two dates. Now, in order to do so, you need to know that within Excel, a date is really just a number. So you can see currently the formatting is date. When I change it to general, you can see we get 45,404. That's very weird and not something we would expect. But what this actually means is a date is simply the number of days since the 1st of January 1900. So what that mean, means is that today's date is 45,404 days from the 1st of January 1900. And so once you have this information, you can actually do calculations with dates. So what we could do is you could take this date here, right? And then subtract from that today's date, which we have over here. I press enter and you can see we get a very strange result because it's formatted as a date. But in this case, we should interpret this as the number of days in between these two dates. So I will change it to general and you can see there are actually 20 days in between these two dates. And so remember this number here represents today's date. I'll change it to make it a little bit more clear. So I'll change it back into a date. So <clears throat> what we could do here is simply take the difference of two dates and then check if the difference is more or less than 365 uh, days. And that should get us the result uh, we're looking for. Now, in some edge cases, this could get you in trouble. For example, when there's a leap year. Now, in that case, I propose we use the year frag function. Now, what the year frag function does is it will return to us a fraction of a number representing the number of years between two dates. So if I take the start date being today's date and the next argument being the end date, this one here, then I will get back a fraction indicating the number of years between these two dates. So in this case, the year number of years that is separating these two dates, it's like 1.5. Now there's an optional third argument that we can use. And so this could either be a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four, depending on what kind of measurement we're looking for. Now, the best one is probably this one here, where we will be taking the actual day count basis. So this will be the most accurate. So as a third argument, we provide a one and then close the bracket. And as you can see, there's a slight discrepancy between the earlier methods. Okay, with that information, we can now integrate that into an if function to get us the desired result. So let's do that. Let's remove everything we've got. And in column A, let's write year frag. And so the start date, well, that will be today's date. So we write the today function. And then the end date, well, that will be whatever is in the cell next to it. So that's cell B1. And then the type of counting basis we want to use is the one which will use the actual counting basis. Now, if I press enter, this will get us the fraction, like I mentioned earlier. So for the first example is 0.05. For the second example, it's 1.5. And now using this information, we can plug this into an if function. So I wrap this all in an if. So if the result of the year frag function is more or equal to one, well, then we want a two. Otherwise we want a one. So let's close that. And there we have it. That gives us a one. And now let's pull this down. And as you can see there, we have it too. So let me write out this formula here for you. So it's e more easily visible. And so using the combination of the today's function with the year frag function inside of an if function will get you the desired result. And so always take into consideration that dates in Excel are nothing more than the number of days since the 1st of January, 1900. So then you can just do calculations and subtract them from each other. And that will simply give you a number of days between two dates. Or you could also add a number to a date that will simply add days to your date. It's that simple, really. 
If you liked this video, consider subscribing and joining the Excel Beyond community of which you can find a link in the description. Thanks for subscribing and leaving an optional tip. Consider watching this video next.